Hi guys, this video will be about our most favorite place on Earth, Crete and its gorgeous beaches. windy and so cold here. Last time we've been here in May it was also very windy but we thought it was a windy day but it seems to be it's always windy because people like kite surfing. Um, next we're gonna show you the beach really close to the sea but as beautiful but less crowded. Hopefully less crowded. Hopefully. Right. You never know in July. Very much better taste. Looks like a hippie beach. People are really relaxed. Looks like more local people. Like a secret tip where the locals will go, and all the tourists go to when you see. I suppose so. All the, all the tourists are at the Lopanisi and the local people are here. So. Choose wherever you want to go, but this beach is more laid back and as much in the Lofanisi people are pretty much on top of one another. So yeah, there is more place for yourself. Mamara Beach and The pass is quite steep now Don't trip And I think that's our beach. And this is also the end of the Ardena Gorge. If you walk from the village Ardena, you could walk in this gorge all the way to the beach over here.
last time we've been there, we trekked from uh, this small hotel over Finicas. Yes, well, Finicas over this peninsula to Lutra. And that was really, really nice hike. I think he even liked it more than Lutra. And the hike here, oh my god, there's uh, nobody there. It's also easy, and there are several ways to go to. Uh, to uh, several trails to uh, Lutro and this one is most certainly one of the easier ones because you don't have to uh, walk down a huge hill or anything like that. It's just, uh, well, as you can see, it's pretty flat and you just go around the corner to Lutro. Right. Uh, all right. Let's go to the trail. Trail from Glicanera, the beach that is close to Horas Bakken, and uh, the trail is leading to Lutra, the beautiful Lutra. And we found this church on the trail, it's kind of the church we love, it's like it's so perfect in landscape. <laughs> and there's nobody here. The trail from Glicanera to Lutra is similar to the trail from Fincas to uh, Lutra. Same kind of landscape and even they have a really nice church on the way. So I think it's one of the best experiences to make on Crete to trek to Lutra. And of course, no trail on Crete is complete without the encounter of a couple of goats. There are always some goats on the road in Crete. Oh, there's another one under the table. Poor guy, made him run away. Behind Guinea is Lutro, the white village in the bay.
we have a problem here. There are so many seating opportunities. We just can't decide on where we want to sit. So <laughs> we left this uh, place with the view over the ocean, but also this bench is nice and we have the view over the mountains over there. It's also the view we have from their bedroom. And this place seems to be also nice. It's like shadow if it's too hot. If anyone seems fit in the sun, then there's the opposite bench. And I like the logo. Looks so lovely. We are quite happy we stayed here. Last time we've been to this region, we stayed in Ugaswakion and in Lutro, like in the big towns. And it was nice actually, but the towns were, you know, like this typical touristy towns, so lots of hotels. And here you feel like it's like a personal island here. And you, you're close to all these famous tourist places. Oh well, not quite famous, but more touristy places. And then you're back here and you, you just listen to the sheep bells and see my scenery. I will love laid back villages of Crete. You just have the best Crete has to offer this village style of life and nice people who are interested in you and so willing to share. <laughs> the further into the mountains and the further from the big roads, the better it gets. It's, sometimes it's hard to believe it can get better the food has been. I guess what Guinea is trying to say is that people here are very friendly. Indeed. You will meet friendly tourists, like yesterday we met an Israeli guy who is uh, living here with his van since March. Apparently he got stuck uh, in March with the lockdown, but it seems like he doesn't regret it. He's <laughs> quite happy. Just hiking to Samaria Gorge and living two months here. Chatting to the people, eating farms from the trees, cooking vegan, spending 250 euros a month, he said. Not bad. I think he looked quite happy. I'm sure. That's a nice place to be stuck in. Large, there's a sandy part further back there, and the more rocky part, which we can partly see here. The beach is so huge, it can be absolutely long here. 